Welcome back. I'm at History Museum on the Square. I have John Sellers with me. He is, he, he is the chief bottle washer here. He makes everything happen. The most knowledgeable guy I know when it comes to Springfield history. Yeah, I've got you blood. I know, but <laughs> I still enjoy talking with you every time. One thing I want to talk about is something that happened, you know, like right here on the square, yeah, yeah. and that is a bunch burned down at one time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell me about that. In May of 1913, mm -hmm. the city of Springfield had just purchased a bunch of new gas-powered fire equipment. Oh, they were so proud. They cutting were edge. Coming into the 20th century just as fast as they could go. Mm -hmm. Getting rid of their old steam-powered, horse-drawn pumpers and so on. Right. And uh, it, was a, it was a good thing. Sure. So they they decided that they were going to just do a, a wonderful promotional picture of all this new fire equipment. So they arranged it in a line in front of the northeast corner of the square. The HERS store had built a new building in 1903, in the corner of the square where the Fox, Fox Theater, Theater is now. Right. So they arrayed the fire equipment all out in front, and they took this wonderful panel picture, which we have, that shows all the fire equipment, everybody standing out there proudly. The fire oh, yeah. Behind. So one month later, almost to the day, in the warehouse of the Hearst store, there is a fire. Just a fire. And they call the new fire equipment, but the fire gets away from them, gets into the walls, and starts going from building to building. Uh -huh. Just down the street is the Fox Woodman Paint Company. They're uh, just Ooh. next door to what is this building now. Oh, a whole building of accelerant. A is whole what building of, of <laughs> lacquer and, yeah. and paint, oil-based paint and so on, like a big explosive. Yes. And when that catches fire, it's over. Done. All they can do is try to preserve other buildings, keep everything else wet. But the whole corner of the square, from Boonville Street to St. Louis Street, burns to the ground. Oh my. Every bit of it. The Hearst store and all. Now, it, it, was, it was devastating. Uh, we've got a newspaper uh, uh, headline that said it was an $800,000 fine. Now, in today's money, that would be $20 million. Good grief. Yeah. Burned down all these businesses, everything. Uh, Mr. Herr, by the way, was in uh, on the West Coast on a trip, mm -hmm. and they sent him a telegram and said, uh, the store's gone. <laughs> and, and oh, how nice to wake up to that. Yeah. So they ultimately rented a storefront around on St. Louis Street yeah. and put the store in there temporarily. Mm -hmm. He had already bought the old site of the courthouse on the corner of College and the square. Okay. And he had bought the old courthouse and torn it down, and they were going to build an office building there, just a, a spec building. Right. Thing. But now, he came up with a plan to build the new Hearst store there on that corner. So, in 1915, the new Hearst store opened there, where uh, the old one had been in the opposite corner of the, of the square. Now, I, I mean, forensics are a whole lot different now than they were then. Did they ever come to a conclusion what they started the fire? The fire in the warehouse? No, it, nothing was ever said in any of the papers or anything about what actually caused it other than it was there. That was it. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. See, another thing you can learn about here at History Museum on the Square. That's, that's a great story. It's amazing how much happened right here oh, on yes. the Square oh, my goodness, when yes. you talk about Springfield yeah. history. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. John, tell people when they can come by the museum. Come to the museum. We're here on the corner of Boonville and the Public Square, 154 Park Central. Uh, we're open uh, Wednesday through Saturday from 10 to 5, and then on Sunday from 1 to 5. And uh, you can find us at historymuseumonthesquare.org. That's it. And if you see this guy, ask him a question about the history. He probably knows the answer. Or I love looking him up. <laughs>